it's another day authentic talk friday yes uh, it's another day authentic talk friday all right everyone it's another day for twenty top Friday. Everyone, you are welcome. All over social media. And today, like I always say, authentic talk, talk the talk. <laughs> today, every time we do authentic talk, we always bring surprise, surprise, surprise. How is everyone doing today? What is your Friday like? Let us pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you. Bless your holy name. We worship you for there's none like you, there's none before you. Father, I pray that as we are doing authentic talk, focusing more on marriage, family, relationship, and the things that are happening in the world to encourage us to, 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 to keep things that you've created like marriage things that will help our marriages like communication and other things and 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 to help our relationship to help to bound bond our our families together because the family that prays together stays together so father help us not just to come online but to be the uh, the the, uh, the the person that will listen and uh, go in action practicalize what we what we're hearing so that we can do the right thing unto our marriage, unto our family, unto our husband, unto our wife, unto our children. God, I pray that all marriages all over the world will be heaven on earth. Lord, I pray that all men in marriages will love their wife like Christ loved the church. Lord, I pray that all women all over the world that are wives will submit themselves like the Bible said, be submissive to their husband. I pray, oh Lord, I pray that uh, the men will love the wife and the wife will respect their husband. In the mighty name of Jesus, as we're about to tackle this topic, that one or two persons will learn from this. And if people are making the mistake, they will learn. Father, help, help me as I open my mouth, you feel it. Continue to use me as your vessel of grace, your vessel of honor, as your cloth, as your mouthpiece, as your celebrity, as your flower. Continue to use your daughter. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Everybody, welcome, welcome. So now let's dive into it. Today, our topic will be your marriage is yours, not your family. Wow. Does that make sense? Does that sound familiar? Your marriage is yours, not your family. And you say, what do, what do you mean? I'm glad you ask. There is the popular African wise saying that if you marry your spouse, you have married into their family. Hence, we get the appellate in uh, in law this and in law that. True as it sounds, but in uh, actuality, your marriage is between you and your spouse. In the general, gen, in the generality of the family, your wife, your spouse, is your first and paramount obligation. When you get married, you leave your parents and cleave to your spouse. That's what the Bible say. This does not mean you don't talk to your parents. Not at all. Anymore. This does not mean you don't talk to your parents anymore. But you have to cater for the newest change, for the foundation of your own family, for something that is your own, not what you are part of. The, part the partnership that brings you into the family is that of your parent. Now, you have the chance to do the same for your own offspring. What you do here. And how you do it will determine a whole lot. Your happiness, your kids, how they will turn out, 
in life, your existence as individual, what you stand for. If this is so, are you going to allow decisions of others, quote unquote family members, be the bedrock on which you, you run your own family? Absolutely not. I don't know about you. It is true that some families help the marriage of their words still the best family. It is true that some families help their marriage of their words. Still, the best family assistance in terms of mental interfer interference of words is advice and not decision making for the couples. Some even go ahead and, and enforce such, such decisions when it gets to this stage, then the presence of such family in the marriage has become unhealthy for the couples. In, uh, in other words, marriage is supposed to be for two people. Two people are meant to manage marriage. Let's go, I will tell, I will give you the verse of the Bible if you don't, if you don't get it. Marriage is born between two people under the ordination of God Almighty. Thus it's written, for this reason will a man leave his father and mother and cleave unto his wife from the onset, God sovereign marriage from family, the continuation of that verse says. Okay? So from the onset, God savage marriage from family. The continuation of that verse says, and they shall be one. It means when you are with your family, it's you are still and have. It takes the complementing from God as the presence of a woman to make you whole. All right? So it means when you are with your family, it's you are still an half. You are still the uh, the overall. When you are with your family, it is something that you you just have to know that you are the one that will take care of your family. It takes the complimenting from God as the presence of a woman to make you whole. But if you, but it, but like I said before, it, it means when you are with your family, it's you are still an half. When you are with your family, your mother, your father, and you're not married, you are still an half. Okay? But it takes the complimenting from God as the presence of a woman to make you whole. When you're married, you become whole. If your spouse is the other half that compliments you, who then is the family that should tell you that your God made compliment is not good enough but the crack therein is you what are you saying to your family about your spouse because there is an african adage that says now waiting person call him thin nine then they follow him call him again <laughs> now waiting person call her thin nine then help him, follow him call him Simple put, the name tag you call your spouse is what your family will call your spouse. If you call him or her fool, foolish, same will your family call them. Jesus said in this teaching, male and female, he created them. There was no space for family when marriage was ordained. When you get married, the most important, the most important thing the most important uh, thing you should do, the most important person when you get married, the important, most important person in your life is your spouse. And the most important thing you should do is to commit yourself to your spouse. Okay? So it's, it's the most important thing is a uh, present person in your life is your spouse when you allow your family members disrespect your spouse and throw scorn at them you just watch or let it slide consider yourself immature of marriage know it that the disrespect is from one family to another that is if 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 uh, um if fam the fam other family is disrespecting your spouse the other family is going to disrespect your spouse too. As so as each and every member of your family has their own 
or will have their own if they don't have one yet. A spouse that stand by, by and watch the family hollow uh, insult at their better half do not qualify to love or be loved. It is wonderment how they still stay under the same roof or even make love with such a spouse. God instituted the husband and wife relationship as an equal partnership with Adam and Eve in Genesis 2.24. Marriage is centered to God's plan for our happiness during this life and our eternal happiness in the life hereafter. A wife is everything to the husband. A mother, a wife, a sister, a confidant, or a friend. A wife is the one who can think like a mother about the safety of her husband. A wife can only be the one or whom a man can rely on or, or other than the mother. Hence, they say, behind every successful man, there is a solid woman. <laughs> beyond, beyond every, behind every successful man, there is a solid woman. I put solid weights because I know there are solid women out there. This too has a vast versa for the woman. Your husband is your protector, your provider, the crown that decorates your head, and the beauty that you behold. As a woman, what to be called wife? Ordinarily, it is difficult to achieve a successful marriage because since God ordained marriage, it has become since God ordained marriage, it has become a, a target. Of the devil, Satan. That's why I say God punished the devil in the pit of hell. Those allowing, since God uh, 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 ordained marriage, it has become a target of the devil. Those allowing external source, source like family step into marriage is an holocaust uh, wahala for the couples. The devil has used a lot of families. To destroy so many marriages. This come under the umbrella of family love and affection to create gigantic holes in the marriages of many. Are you the one tag mama's boy? Mommy's boy? Those who run to their mamas and run to their mommies at every instant in their own home? Those spouse who allow their family step in when the wife cheats, keep having only females as kids, or not even able to conceive. Some men don't even realize that their own siblings are guilty of what they are accusing their wives about. As a wife, do you even take note of the fact that your auntie's husband is even worse than your husband, and yet... You echo the survivor of your marriage on the decision about your husband. Man, man and woman, once you expose your material flaws to your family, you expose yourself. Therefore, learn to set boundaries. Learn to set boundaries no matter how bad the situation is with your spouse. Know when to let your family in and the role they are expected to play. Know when to start and know when to stop. Know when to open that door and know when to shut the door. Know when to have a crack on the door for a third party to come in. Like last time, you know, we talked about third party. Do not give them a blank check into your marriage. Not everyone mean well. Some are not happy, even happy that you are married. Many are not happy that you enjoy peace in your marriage. Hence, at the first instance of your introducing them into your material affairs, what do you, what you will have been able to handle with, with sky, uh, sky rocket, and in another three years or less, you will be sitting in a corner wondering that, wondering what happens to your want, to your wants love person to so your lo once love filled marriage when your family start complaining he's under the influence of his wife i'm sure she has charmed him or she no longer listen to 
to anyone except her husband. He is a gold digger. He just came and want to take our sister from us. These are signs that you have kept your family of your marriage and they have done fantastic to break in. Keep the fence high, my brothers and sisters, and keep the fence high and strong. And you will enjoy long years of peaceful marriage. When your spouse, even when you have this, you have trials, handle it as when you are together. So with all this, you have to be careful how you bring people into your marriage and you did the, the all these signs of oh you are a woman rapper oh she's telling you what to do oh she's a gold digger oh she can't take your money these are signs that you have kept your family off your marriage uh, you have kept your family off your marriage and they have done fantastic to break break in when you lock door to your marriage when it's between two of you like we we say it's stuck in that in that kitchen and the smoke is almost suffocating you guys but you say we're gonna work on this marriage together that's where people say oh she's 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 controlling her him oh he's controlling her he's doing that she's doing that when no they can't break in they don't know the secret of your marriage that's where the talk start you are woman rapper you are man rapper you are this or that <laughs> But when you start hearing that in your marriage, hurrah, praise the Lord for you because God has blessed you to keep everybody arm's length of your marriage. Keep the fence high and strong and you will enjoy a long years of peaceful marriage with your spouse. Even when you have trials, handle it as man and wife. Come to God, not man. Challenge God with all the monetary promises in the Bible. And I know God, originator of marriage. I know God, the originator of marriage, will come to your aid speedily. He will answer your prayer because it's a covenant keeping God. He said, remind me of my promise if I will not do it. And every word of God will not go uh, voided. It will go and accomplish everything that you have said so remind God and quote these uh, uh, ch uh, uh, challenge God with all your mantra promises uh, in the Bible and I know God originator of marriage will come speedily to your uh, uh, will come to your aid speedily family should uh, make it, it, it a policy to allow the married remain married save uh, save serve as a guide not an authority in another man's marriage remove the i know him or her before you get married she or he was born into my hands syndrome respect your siblings respect their union a woman that slaps her brother's wife has also slapped her brothers notwithstanding if the brother gave the permission because adam said this indeed is bone of my bone and flesh of my flesh and i will call her woman for she is taken out of me con uh, con conclusively spouse should set boundaries in their marriage there should be no go area families should not overstep what did i say family should not overstep what did I say again? Family should not overstep their boundaries in the marriage of their siblings. You cannot tell a man how to wear his cap or how to wear his shoes. A man that married a woman knows what he saw and like whatever crisis they have in the, uh, the uh, whatever crisis they have. So a, ma a man that married a, a woman knows what he saw and like. Whatever crisis they have, family should be on the ground of peace, not to beat the drum of war. And my brothers and sisters, like I said, that ends our authentic talk today. And the topic again is your marriage is your, your marriage is yours, not your family's. Don't allow your family to interfere in your marriage. 
whatever problem you have in your marriage, try your possible best with prayer, with wisdom, knowledge and understanding. Try your possible best to settle it with your partner because you never know people that don't want you to be in that marriage. You go and talk to them and we're very good at that. Anytime things are happening to us, we always go to our enemy without knowing. Then after all said and done, we start regret to say, oh, how do I know? So, that's all about it. Be careful, be careful, and keep your marriage intact. Keep your family out of your marriage. Your marriage and family is a no-go area. They can come, do everything, but they have no right to interfere in your marriage. My name again is Reverend Dr. Joy Angulimachiku, Hot in Jail, the General of the and Chief Leader of the Vice Jesus of Christ Nation Church, the celebrator of Jesus Christ, the flower of God, the cloth of God, the, the mad piece of God, and the, and, the, and the leg of God. I just come to leave this peace for you. That as you go along in your relationship, you're about to marry, you're married, you're dating, keep your family away from your relationship. So that you have you have everlasting relationship that comes till death depart us for better for us. God bless you again, and I will see you next Friday. I'll see you on Tuesday of a Bible study and on Sunday. God bless you. Amen. And amen. Amen. Welcome everyone for joining. I appreciate that. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.